Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. Today we're going to play some Shadowrun Dragonfall. While everyone's been going crazy for Cyberpunk, I decided to throw it back to 2014. Um, <laughs> late, late 2014 um, with Dragonfall. Um, Shadowrun, the Shadowrun RPG was probably my first sort of like bright line introduction to to cyberpunk, I guess at least as a game game concept. So um, near and dear to my heart, I enjoyed this game when I first played it, never finished it, so I'm kind of excited to get back to it. So in case you've forgotten, I'm Dad Radish and I'm your vegetable father. And uh, how very... <laughs> like me to be playing a six-year-old game. Um, anyway, let's uh, sort of jump into it. Got a tab over here. Bring up the chat. All right, so we're gonna make a new game. Playing this director's cut. I'm playing on normal, because I'm playing all my games uh, late in the evening and don't wanna <laughs> have to think about it too much. Um, all right, so let's see. Um, okay, in the world of Shadowrun, there are no statistical differences between males and females. Uh, what do I feel like uh, kind of role-playing here? Um, I'll role-play, let's just go with just a... a you know what, no, no, I'm going to go with a female gender character. Okay, and then... Uh, some of this is a little tricky. Um, this is something that has happened a long time for a long time in RPGs, and people are seeing how um, messed up it is to kind of have this presumption. Um, it has um, uh, kind of problematic real-world uh, um, implications when uh, people of different races, uh, not even let's say like species, but right different races. Um, have uh, limits to their maximum stats, um, and I'm not sure if, Cyber, or if uh, the Shadowrun is handling that. Like the, for example, a troll's maximum intelligence is six. Oh, that actually seems quite significantly lower. So, um, anyway, um, I'd rather we sort of like do away with it. But you know, here we are. It's in, it's in the game. Well, it's. Um, but I wanted to, to note and call out here that it'd rather not be. Maybe there's a mod or something. I should probably look into it. Um, okay, so I, when I played the first Jowder Run game, um, I forget what it was called. Uh, the, the campaign was called Dead Man Switch, but it was um, the first one. Um, I hear a little buggier than this one. Um, I played as a I played as a Decker, so just like the straight up hacker character. Um, had a good time with that. Um, I think I want to play this time as a rigger. So um, riggers use uh, cyber tech to jack their mind into and control small robot-like vehicles called drones. Riggers use their rigging abilities to provide surveillance, support, and extra firepower when required. Um, so intelligence is a key attribute, um, then drone control, and you can do drone combat. So that sounds kind of fun to me. That's the uh, the pet class, as it were. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, you know, the... If we're we're sort of like min-maxing here, it could be human, elf, dwarf. There are lots of like options. Um, I think I'm gonna play as a dwarf. I'd like to be able to sort of like get into shootouts and to kind of like work alongside. So um, yeah, and then we'll go ahead and try and pick one of the archetypes here. Uh, cool. I like. Um, no, uh, no facial decoration. Facial decoration. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Ah, she looks cool. I like this hair. In Cyberpunk, you gotta go with the tattoos. I don't know, let's go with this other, the other color. Okay, this seems like very, very uh, rigor-like, so let's go to it. Um, let's see. If we undo the auto, we can pick a uh, different here. What? 
Oh no, this is um, this is some skin color. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, stats. Uh, karma. Karma represents ex uh, karma is basically XP. Um, the number you're trying to get to uh, is the cost in karma, so that's something to keep in mind. All right, quickness starts at three. Is the chance to hit in ranged combat? Um, let's see. So we're gonna want to take. Um, let's see. It gives you an additional weapon slot. Okay, that's interesting. Oh man, we could be here for a while. Available karma is eight. Can we take it down? Oh, we can take it down. So we can reduce our HP for every point of body hit points increased by 10. So we could start at 40, we could start at 30. Feels tricky. I've seen, I don't know, 18 points of damage happen in a turn. I don't know. Uh, we're already kind of low strength. Intelligence seems like it should be high here. Um, I kind of like to get the next point um, in, in drone control. Let's see. Drone damage is plus two HP damage. Able to equip two drones. See, like, that's something that seems like a huge deal. Like, that four points really makes us a lot more effective the thing that we say we're trying to do. So, four more karma. Um, I think what I found here is that we gotta, we wanna put this into um, chance to hit in range combat. So, what I don't know is that quickness, this, like, um, like parent stat, um, it uses it calculates a chance to hit and then there's also a range combat version so you should probably at least put a point in there and um, I think I'll put a point in the S M G O. Oh, so you need two points to be able to see your crit percentage that's interesting um, I kind of have a little bit of foreknowledge about what the other people in the um, other runners on the team have so um, Glory runs a pistol. Oh, you don't think anybody runs a shotgun. Hmm. I feel like I need more body to, like, get in there. Hmm. I really think that, like, if you're running around with a drone, that an SMG is, like, how you're gonna... how you're gonna do that. So, I think as well go with. Um... All right, just checking out some stream status stuff. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's go with... Um, I want to put more points into just the two hit chance because, I mean, it just sucks to never hit anything. And I don't really care about this um, particular um, skill, but I just know that we're going to want to... Um, at least get to aim shot, right? So, um, okay. Sounds good. Choose an etiquette. Etiquette is about knowing how to behave in various social situations. The right etiquette can give you an edge in certain conversations. Choose an etiquette from the list below. Choosing an etiquette does not cause karma, and each etiquette can only be chosen once, uh, or chosen once. Um, okay, what was I thinking here? Mm, okay, a rigor seems like um, security is probably um, in there, uh, it, that's what I think a, a, a rigor's background would, would be. That's the kind of employment you would get if you couldn't control a bunch of drones. Um, gang, Shadowrunner is like, that's what we're doing now. It seems a little on the obvious side. Maybe there's something a little less obvious here. An academic rigor, what would that look like? Like why you're studying and developing drones, maybe AIs or, or something. Um, little ivory towers that are like your best friends. Okay, I'm gonna choose academic. I like that idea better. <laughs> um, okay, name your character. Many runners uh, use a street name or a handle, a working name, a calf jack, or lazy. Others stick with their given name or adopt a nickname. Please choose a name for your character. Um, man, we could be here for a while, couldn't we? Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go with a uh, stick, like like a pilot stick. Maybe it's because it's an other stick with their given name and it's just like popped out to me, but it's what I'm going with. Um, okay.
All right, so here's our setup. Uh, the Harfield Manor run. Life was good. Easy jobs, regular pay, a reliable crew. But things went south and you had to drop off the grid, put a bolt in the past, and start afresh, somewhere new. The promise of opportunity to anonymity draws you to the free city of Berlin, the flux state, a grand experiment in social order. Corporations tread carefully here. Even the great dragon Lofwer only has so much sway in the constantly evolving power structure of Berlin. The perfect place for a savvy Shadowrunner to disappear and begin anew. And, as luck would have it, home to your old partner in crime, Monica Schaefer. Schaefer, I think it's Schaefer. Uh, it's your third run with Monica and her team. An old castle hold fast, one hour east of Berlin, perched on a hill overlooking the countryside. The job is standard smash and grab. Crack the vault, grab the data, get out in one piece. A mediocre payday, but work is work. As the team gathers for Monica's pre-run briefing, you pause to take in your surroundings. So a couple things about Shadowrun. Um, well, you saw that there are different, like, um, awakened species. So this is something, a thing that happens in the Shadowrun universe is, like, it has the cyberpunk future, corporations that, like, operate everything, but um, also magic returns to the world. So that's, like, a big sort of component of it. Um, it's, I think what you would point to is, like, the main differentiator between this and capital C cyberpunk, the, um, the RPG um, that came out by Mike Pondsmith that, you know, the, the new game is based on. Um, yeah, so I, I guess, like, if you... With the fantasy stuff comes stuff like dragons. So dragons were reawakened. They have become very powerful entities um, in this uh, universe, and so um, that's that's part of the story here. So, all right, so let's get into it. I like the writing in these games. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I think that I'm not. I'm not sure <laughs> what the discourse about the writing is, but I like it, um, and I feel like it's paced well. So, um, okay. The estate grounds are silent, save for the faint whistling of the wind. Your team gathers near a side entrance to the old castle holdfast, cloaked in darkness. The night is peaceful. You know it won't last. You know for uh, you know it for what it is, a pleasant illusion that will shatter at the sound of the first gunshot. All right, here's Monica. Listen up, folks. Monica Schaefer. You ran with her back in the day. Watch her watch her get her first data jack. Now she's your team leader and a Drek hot decker to boot. So Drek is um, uh, anal the analogous word there is shit or poop. <laughs> Decker to boot. Um, all right, we're on a tight timetable. I want to enter the estate, find the basement, open the data vault, extract the files, and bolt. Ten minutes, top to bottom. Dietrich, trying to get home in time for worm talk, love? Dietrich, shaman, the old man of the team. He smiles at her, his facial tattoos writhing in the moonlight. Monica's eyes twinkle with mischief. Maybe. How many times have I told you you can't trust anything that comes out of a dragon's mouth? That trid trash will rot your brain. She grins. It's educational. Besides, this should be a milk run. Security is supposed to be light. A few automatic weapons, no armor. With little luck, they'll never know we're here. Um, okay, so I can say, just like old times, eh? Or, in my experience, there's no such thing as a milk run. I'll watch your back, all the same. Works for me, let's get paid. Um, I'm going to say this because that's the reaction I had. Um, in my experience, there's no such thing as a milk run. Uh, Glory says, words of wisdom from our new edition. I agree with Stick. Glory, razor-clawed street samurai. Her voice is cold and neutral, her expression placid. They may only be private security, but their bullets don't know that. I can patch you up if I have to, but I'd rather not have to. You people need to relax. We're professionals, remember? Monica raises her arm and speaks into her wrist-mounted con link. A darkened face shimmers on the view screen. Iger, are you in position? Calmly crackles, and the response come back, comes back low and soft. Softer than you expect from a troll. Affirmative. The alarm lines have been cut, and I have a clear line of fire at the state service entrance. When you exit the building, the path will be clear. Excellent. Thank you, Iger. Just doing my job. Iger out. Calmly goes dark. Monica winks at you as she drops her arm. See? We're professionals. All right, people, enough chatter. Our client wants the data from the vault, so we get him the data from the vault. Quick, quiet, and quick. You said it quick twice. She grins. Worm talk is on tonight. Glory raises an eyebrow slightly. I told you, it's educational. Um, okay, so we get our objectives, objectives up here, so grab your gear from the vans. Go ahead and get it. Um, your gear and some weapons lie in the back of the van, so we'll grab a weapon. We spec for SMGs. Uh, grab the rest of your kit. Um, 
Let's grab your running gear from a worn duffel bag near the weaponry. Leave the van. Okay. Uh, we got our drone here, the Doberman. Cool looking drone. Alright, and then uh, we gotta equip this stuff, I think. So, outfit. We have a data jack. Uh, okay, I think everything seems equipped then. Are you sure about that? Yeah, okay. I tried exploring some of the areas, but actually, is there something? Seems worth investigating. Okay. Maybe click here. You can kind of see it's tile based, so you can see the tiles kind of stacking up. Alright, keep the team alive, get to the lower floor, uh, get to the lower floor, yep, that's, that's very good, so let's open up this door. A private museum, the owner of this estate must have money to burn. Uh, let's take a look at some of this stuff. The complete skeleton of a theropod dinosaur, it appears to be genuine. A variety of remarkably well preserved preserved Slavic artifacts. You know what, I have a setting here that says the game tech should be super fast, and that might be wrong. Let's slow it down a little bit, because I can't even read these out loud. The vase in this case looks both very old and very valuable. A fine scroll work of lapis and gold, li gold leaf uh, decorates its exterior, and the interior shimmers with the organic beauty of the abalone shell. Your fixer could probably move this thing in a heartbeat. Can't help but notice that the glass encasing it looks awfully flimsy. Smash the glass. Okay, Vase, you're coming with me. Or walk away. Maybe I'll come back for you later. Um, I am not into jeopardizing this mission for a little glass. The cast and display case is decorated with inlaid panels of ivory scripture. Alright. Still in the sort of like tutorial prologue here, so. Um. Explore this spot. There's a locked door here. This door is open, we can open it. Uh, okay, let's crack this one. Whoa, alright. It's a fight right away. Turn based combat. You are now in turn based combat mode. Each character on your team has an action pool. Spend these actions on movement, attacks, or using spells and items. Once your team's turn is complete, the enemy team will move and attack. Additional tutorial information is available from the reference guide, which can be accessed in the upper right corner of your PDA menu. Uh, cool. Alright, so I'll try to talk through this. Um, the action points are these things. Uh, you can go in pretty much any order. So I think we're going to try and end this quickly. So what I'm going to do is haste increases the friendly target's AP by one for two rounds. So we're going to cast this on Glory. So she gets an additional action point. We're going to make her use Razor Claws, and we're going to just come after the security guard right off. Um, yeah. We'll crit a bunch, do a bunch of damage. Alright, and then I think who can deal the most here? gonna come around. Drone's kind of hanging around. And then we're gonna SMG behind and yep, and things quickly. Um, we still have action points here, so I guess we're, let's kinda take up a defensive position in case something happens from that other room. I haven't been able to activate Overwatch and I don't know why. Let me just double check. Is this Maybe Overwatch is, is an expensive ability? Ah, it comes at four. Okay, need to think about that. Um, that makes sense, and I'm glad they did it. Overwatch is very powerful. Um, there are no buffs to activate, so let's go ahead and end and see what happens. Mm. 
something got said there, so don't like that we're kind of trapped in here. Uh, Monica's the decker. Let's see if she can access this terminal and make anything happen. Security node, security alert response plan, Quebec 6. Matrix operations locked, HTR team responding. So we'll override the door lock. Okay. Um, I think so. If I kind of tab over into this like context menu, this is where I can activate the the drone mode. Mm, I don't know. I think I might need the movement right now. Let's go over here. You can set up a forward position with the haste. Uh, same with Dietrich. And uh, let's put aim on stick. Aha! There's the opposition. Alright, that's a, kind of a long distance there. So 12%, yeah, low percentages here. One thing I'm not sure how to check is some of these status abilities. Oh, the adrenal pump. Uh, pumping the body full of adrenaline and noradrenaline. The, us the user gains uh, one uh, action point for three rounds. Okay, well, I'm still bo I still have boosted action, so. Let's see. I mean, now I think I need to activate the drone. Let's make control mode. I like that animation there, it kind of taps, taps on the head. Um, drone has two action points. Yeah, I think I'll need it to just kind of get over here. So I think I'll try and I'll take up like a position okay. there. Twelve percent to hit this guard out in the open. I think it, it must be the range. It must be too far. I think what I need to do is to get somewhere with glory. There's no cover here, or none of these spots provide like meaningful cover. I think this is probably the best position to try and take. And what do we want to do here? An aim shot increases the chances. Yeah, take an aim shot. Let's... She's got another. All right, that means I can move up a little bit. Still be in cover. Uh, let's see. Lightning AOE with a four. It's a four cooldown. It's a lot. Um, still has aim up. Haste up. Put aim on glory. And I don't know. Can we can we hit with this? Oh, maybe we can. Oh, it has to move and attack. Whoops. You know, I didn't catch that. Now he's out in the open. Take the shot. That was very that was XCOM style right there. Okay. Um, let the drone go first. It's gonna take up this kind of flanking position and uh, fire here. Ooh, I don't believe he missed. That's sad. I'm sad about that. I'm gonna move up here. Oh, I forget. Um, controlling the drone requires an action point, so a little more limited than sort of expected. Let's take the aim shot here. cover, so... Okay. This could go better for sure. Um, here, and then we'll throw a knife. Woof. Ooh, yeah, I don't like that. Ouch. Okay. Let's see if I, if I do a heal wound from here. So this just heals all the damage from the most recent attack. 
so it shares a cooldown with other heal wound spells, so kind of get to it quickly and kind of drive the benefit from it. Okay, 83%. I'll take it. Then, what is this? It's kind of low because it's heavy cover, so. I think uh, this is like a full flanking kind of spot. No? I guess not. Um, where a safe spot to be is here in relation to this guy. Let's see if we can do more from somewhere else. Well, let's give Stick the a little bit more aim. Maybe we should just really close the distance. Well, we can learn what it means to be in heavy cover, but right in front of somebody. There's <laughs> like at least plants here, or there's nothing in between these plants, so... Yeah, I mean, let's move Glory up. One attack. Oop, got flanked there. Let's see, this is on cooldown. Who can cast for minus 20 HP? I didn't even notice that. Alright, well. Two attacks with less chance for a critical. Damage 5, damage 5. Oh, it's an AoE. You can hit adjacent characters. Got it. Now we're just gonna go. And the drone. 80%, yeah, we'll just take two shots here. I'm pretty sure Glory can Glory finish this out. We got it. Okay, everybody stands up. We're out of initiative, or we're out of uh, combat. Let everything reset a little bit. Mm, so it looked like those mercs came from in here. Okay, what is this? Aha. Okay, let's see what happens here. Um, Alright, we're gonna check on the stream real quick. Uh, Alright. Buggy. Select a Decker to jack in. Alright, so that should be Monica, 100%. Glory. Some space. Alright, here we go. But Raku craft work one. Um, cool. Again, what is an ESP? Expert system program. Uh huh. Alright. Jacking in. Okay, so one thing that I've heard about the new cyberpunk is that there's no representation of cyberspace. Um, so anyway, I, I don't know if that continues to be true, but I'm, I was always glad that there was a representation of cyberspace in, um, in Shadowrun. Okay, so let's make um, uh, a summon here to do some work for us. Um, yeah, it's just... Start blasting here. Hadouken! Okay, she's got a 99% chance of hitting this. So it looks like they have like a hundred IP, I don't know what IP is. Some of the points. Uh, they can still be flanked, so a lot of the combat mechanics are kind of uh, similar. So you can assassinate, this is a 3 uh, pip cooldown, so. Just oh, actually, 
actually. We should be able to take it out totally. Um, cool. Um, get rid of a new round. We'll kind of take this two ways. Aha. Still get cover bonuses, so. Seems like a good time for this one to use this attack. This assassinate attack. Uh, yeah, we'll let the assassin program attack because that's the only assassin program can do, but Monica can get to the data store. Hack the node. Cool mission item added. Uh, pay data. Antiquities delivery schedule. Okay, I kind of expect we'll be able to get out of here. Um without encountering more stuff. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I'll just get Monica out. Cool. Alright, let's pick the spot, let everybody kind of catch up. Alright, crack it. Uh-oh, enemy turn. What does that mean? Alright, um... Just needs to be closer to be able to hit anything, it seems like. And I guess it brings the drone closer, so can't complain. Um, so Monica's holding a rifle, could be at a bit of a distance. Glory obviously um, shines at being up close. I kind of feel like being a little bit off to the side should give more of an angle here. And, uh, Dietrich, I don't know. The throwing knives, I'm not really convinced of their efficacy, but, um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ooh, there's a spellcaster. Alright. Um, I got a 50 on that one. Let's, um, what do I do here? This is an AoE. How big is that AoE? One, two, three. I'm pretty big, like three, but don't benefit from it right now. Alright, we're gonna give this to Glory. It's the whole turn. Glory's also gonna activate the adrenal pump. Let's see, can we get there? Three to get there, we can use the three to just run up and just um, let's see, can we we can get up to two and then like take a pot shot. I kinda like that idea. Start making them feel like they're having problems. I think I'd rather take the 70. Good. Do you want to get the drone in the mix, or do we want to just start shooting here? Let's start shooting. Let's see if we can get done. Okay, Monica can aim, and oh, it's a pretty good shot on this. This is um, a little bit obscure, hard to tell what's happening there. I'll take it. More shot there. Ooh. More damage than I expected to take. Alright, let's bring the drone into this. Got him. I'll just take the 44 on this guy. Might as well. Take the 74, sure. And a pretty high, that was a pretty high chance of crit. 
Okay. So I'm annoyed with how this more efficient attack, it's only gonna take one to get there, but no, I guess I, that makes sense because it really only does take one to get there. So we're gonna take two to get here, and we're just gonna swipe. Uh, get up in her face. Okay, now maybe this will deal damage. It gets both of them. There's some heavy cover. Yeah. Oh, whoa, summon spirit. Hold on. I didn't, I didn't even know this was an option. What do we do here? Alright, we're just gonna go for it. Whoa! <laughs> what? Um. Apocalypse. Wow, what is this? Gross. A stream of acid that does ongoing 6 HP damage for one round, chips one armor from the target. All enemies within a range of 3 squares of spirit are affected. This is a passive, I think. You steal 8 damage. A mouth of teeth. A mouth of teeth. <laughs> okay, a mouth of teeth that rips, uh, rips your flesh and does a minimum of 7 HP damage. Okay, sure. Oof. I wish this like induced terror or something. Um, Cause holy shit, that is. Uh... All right, we're gonna give it one AP. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. Get over there. <laughs> oh, brutal. All right, and then Glory can. You know what happens? Okay, it just disappears. Whew. All right. Cool. Um, not too bad. How banged up is the team? 35 of 40, 51 of 55. Not too bad. Like five, five damage on uh, on the main character. You're about to transmission to a new location. Continue. Um, I think there are auto saves between, so sure. Tarfield Manor run. So far, so good. If your skirmish with security set off any alarms, you don't hear them. Monica leads the rest of the team downward into the basement of the Harfield Manor. Your payday is waiting. The data vault lies ahead. All right. I am. Uh, Wearing down a little bit, but I want, really want to get through this scenario. So, okay, Dietrich's eyes, uh, eyes the door, then turns to Monica. That's a big freaking vault, Liebchen. Uh, bigger than on the schematic. The schematic didn't have a date. Our client may have old intel. Still, our instructions were clear. The data we're looking for should be just on the other side of this door. Monica combs a hand through her hair, parting it to reveal the black plastic sheath of her data jack. This is just classic cyberpunk. Shit, I'm so I'm so here for it. A quick jaunt into the matrix, a little digital hand waving. I'll have this thing wide open. Be right back. A burst of static crackles through the tiny speaker on Monica's comm link. Iger, still in position outside the estate. Hold on, Monica. Who's in charge while you're jacked in? Monica rolls her eyes. Dietrich fixes his stare intently on the vault door. Glory looks cold and distant, just as she always does. Uh, we've been through this before, Iger. You're not in the KSK anymore, and that chain of command nonsense doesn't fly in the shadows. We don't need rules and regulations to guide us. The same principles that apply to the Flux State... Okay, so I remember this. Um, I mean, the Flux State is sort of like an anarchist... Um, uh, an anarchist experiment, something along those lines. Um, so, super interesting. Uh, please, spare me the lecture. Your politics have nothing to do with this. Best get used to it, Iger love. She sighs. Look, it's a simple question. Years of experience tell me that it needs an answer. Um, yeah, I kind of, you know, I kind of agree. Um, Iger's right, Monica. We should have a second command, just in case. Monica stares at you for a moment, clearly irritated. Then that twinkle appears in her eye again. She smiles at you as she speaks into her comm link. Very well, we'll do this one Iger's way. While I'm jacked in, Stick is in charge. There is a pause, then Iger's voice crackles out of the comm link again. Stick, did I hear you right? You're putting the rookie in command? Um, uh, this is such like tabletop RPG, um, RPG, <laughs> uh, roleplay. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, I'm no rookie, Iger, and you know it. 
I thought you were pro, Iger. Questioning orders in front of the team is exactly a pro move, is it? Listen, Iger, you asked for a decision, you got one. I like this one. This is ridiculous. I know that this is a joke to you, Monica, but I'm telling you. Iger. Monica's tone is all business. Evidently, she has heard enough. The decision's made. You have your answer. Acknowledged. That another word, Iger's image flickers and fades from Monica's communicator. Sorry about that. Iger can be inflexible, the legacy of a long military career. But she knows what she's doing, and she means well. Um, Null Sweat. I'm going to say that just because it has the thing, the cyberpunk in it. Null Sweat. I'll buy her a beer and t talk it out after the run. Good woman. Iger's skills and experience are invaluable to this team. It'd be good to have you on her. It would be good to have her on your side. Okay, enough chatter. Let's get this done. Monica turns towards the door, fingers poised on the controls of her cyber deck, and glances back at you with a grin. See you on the other side. Then she punches it, projecting her consciousness into cyberspace, her fingers harmonizing in the smooth, rhythmic staccato that only an expert decker can achieve. Without warning, Monica's back arches violently and her head jerks back, silencing her terrible screams. Muscle spasms ripple through her face and her jaw snaps shut, sending a mist of blood spraying from between her teeth. You look down to see a nub of pink flesh hit the floor, the tip of her tongue. The room explodes into action. Glory leaps towards Monica, her hand outstretched to yank the cord from her data jack. Dietrich surges forward to wrap the team's fallen decker in a bear hug, holding her against the convulsions that rack her body. With Monica's unearthly scream still ringing sharply in your head, you are only dimly aware of the door slamming shut behind you. You have some choices here. We'll help Glory pull the plug on Monica's data jack. I think that makes the most sense. Um, while Glory holds Monica's headstead, you snatch the cord that connects Monica's data jack to her cyber deck. Without a moment's hesitation, you give a solid yank and the cord comes free. A wisp of oily blue smoke traces its way from her data jack to the ceiling. The commingled scents of charred meat and ozone fill the air. You've seen the effects of biofeedback before, but nothing like this. Suddenly, Monica's eyes flutter open. Muscle tremors continue to distort her face, and blood oozes between her lips. You see the muscles in her jaw tensing and the look of concentration in her eyes. She's struggling She's struggling to speak. Um, it'd be cool to have this option, bi the biotech option. Evaluate the damage, see what you can do to help out. Okay, um... <clears throat> Talk to me, Monica. What are you trying to say? Just stay with us, Monica, okay? We're going to get you out of here. Slowly, painfully, Monica wrestles her jaw open. Um, <clears throat> the blood welled up in her mouth. Uh, the blood welled up in her mouth comes pouring out in a slick, covering her chest. She expels a thick, guttural sound that might be a word. Satisfied, she closes her eyes and forces her mouth to make the shapes she needs. Fear, fear. With an effort, Monica opens her eyes again and meets yours. You see pain and fear in her gaze, and something else. Hope. Fear, finger. A sudden spasm jerks Monica's head back again. She grunts. Then her chin drops to her chest and her head lulls to one side. Her eyes fix on an object in the next room, a computer terminal. The soft light of a cursor blinks on its recessed screen. Slowly she attempts to speak again, but the only sound that emerges is a long, strangled croak. A look of resignation washes over Monica's face, and she stops fighting. Her gore slick jaw goes slack, and she dies. Uh -huh. Monica, no, no, this can't be happening. We've got hostiles. This clearly isn't a data vault. We need to get out of here fast. Um, yeah. It's funny how this, like, two-pillar arrangement is kind of like a common... I mean, well, you know, it's a cover-based tactics game, so <laughs> that's what we're getting. Um, let's see. So, I'll take up this position. Let's go ahead and activate the drone. Joan can just take a pot shot here because his guard's out, so oh. might as well. Ooh. Well done. Why is oh okay, so right. Uh, Alright, we're down a person. I'd love to be able to cast haste, but um, it's tough. Positions are all weird. Okay, we'll do this to be able to cast more spells. Can Glory do this again? 
seems like the right time to do it, maybe, I don't know, um, let's see. Line of sight's blocked. Okay, we want to end somewhere with one. Okay, she can end here with one. Because we want to be able to take the shot here. Here's the chances here. Ah. Cool, I'm happy with those wasted, uh, wasted shots there. Okay, we're just going to... Man, can't hit anything. Drone into play. Let's just flank you real hard here. Yeah, that's just gotta be it. Then Glory can move up. We'll use the double. POS building maintenance software uh, 1.01 command line interface internal memory checksum invalid stick 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 Dietrich scans the room nervously they've sealed the door behind us we've got to find another way out of here what are you doing um, Monica was trying to tell me something about this terminal it must be important okay try well any idea something tells her we're going to have more company soon say frosty Dietrich. give me a minute this text is just scroll down the terminal screen the problem is detected with a core component of MCPOS. Restore MCPOS to factory default settings? Yet, yeah. Yes or no. Warning. Restore process will take several minutes to execute. Connected doors and peripherals will be disarmed when complete. Stick, 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 stick. Hit the Y key. Processing request. 0% complete. As you watch, the number on the screen slowly begins to climb. This is going to take a while. You glance down at a second screen to see that the facility is on high alert. In place of a simple data vault, it seems you've stumbled upon some kind of massive underground complex. A map of the holdfast grounds indicates that security forces are en route from multiple angles. The doors are currently being rebooted by the system's restore process. Or the doors currently being rebooted by the system's restore process are flashing a dull red. If you're reading this display correctly, the only exit from the stream is the holdfast old servants entrance on the western side of the building. At that moment, Iger's image winks onto your comlink with a crackling sound. The image is grainy, flickering in and out. What's going down there, rookie? Talk to me. Um, Iger, new extraction point. Or Monica's down. Iger, the vault was set up. Mm, I kind of think like, let's be straight up and kind of military about it. Yeah. So, hold up. Where's Monica? I'm sorry, Iger. Monica didn't make it. Now we have to get out of here. Look for an old servant's entrance uh, to the west of the main grounds. We'll rendezvous with you there. Down. We'll be exiting an old servant's entrance to the west of the main grounds. I need you to keep that exit clear. I think. Uh, let's be clear to the point. Iger sounds thick when she finally responds. Her tone is professional. Roger that. She cuts out without another word. Glory turns to you for you. Her movement's smooth and robotic. Her voice comes out in a frosty monotone. What's the play, stick? Let's see. Our escape route will open in a minute. We hold tight until then. I see you say we kill every Drekhead who enters this room. How does that sound? Uh, yeah, that's how I feel about it. Dietrich's pained expression twists into a mask of hate. His hands begin to glow with primal energy. Yeah, I'm good with that. Me too. Um, good, now let's find some cover and wait for the door locks to disarm. Mm -hmm. I thought so. When the door locks disarm, we make a break for it. Until then, we make them pay for Monica. Yeah, that's how I feel. Um, Alright, so where are they going to come from? Probably... Okay, there's no door there, so probably here. And this is where the exit is. 
So we gotta take up kind of positions against that, I think. So probably Okay, this like structure goes all the way around, it looks like. Um Let's try this. Okay. And let's get Dietrich. Okay, Dietrich should be kind of far from everything, I think. I'm gonna put him in that corner. Oh, there's something you can summon here. Um, I can't move. Oh, the drone. Yeah, the drone should definitely be in a position to kind of make a lot of shots here. And survive for nine turns. Okay. Um, we're kind of pushed up there, so let's take this position. Can this overwatch? No. Okay, from here, we can cast some buffs. something like that. Doesn't seem like it. It's a long shot to make. All right, we're gonna stay put here. I'll reload. That makes sense. To do. Let's give... Kinda hurts not having enough action points here, so let's uh... Yeah, gotta work on adding some of these skills. Oh, alright, this is the pressure side. Maybe, uh, misread what we're gonna face here. Do have a grenade? No grenade. This can be a... summon that spirit yet, so I'll wait on it. Now we can refresh aim on glory. Couldn't hurt. Aha. Wow, that is, looks like some pretty slick gear. Um, okay. Dragon Slayer aids all friends within a three tile range uh, with incoming damage reduced by three last three rounds. That's neat. Um, yeah, they can do that in a little bit. And I can go and summon the spirit. But... I guess for either of them, they aim accuracy. Just... Okay. The 
figure loping towards you is big, even for an orc. The majority of his body is sheathed in a suit of heavy, overlapping plates. What you can see of his face uh, looks raw and slick, like old scar tissue stretched tight over his skull. He wears an expression of supreme confidence. Security Captain. All right, friends, playtime's over. All you shadow runners are the same. Skulking, sneaking, steal a vase or two from the museum. No harm. Maybe I'd let you scamper away into the night. But now it's too late for that sort of generosity. Visitors aren't welcome down here. The gaping maw of the minigun jerks upward, an impatient gesture loaded with malice. Drop your weapons and surrender. That's military-grade armor he's wearing, stick hardened against small arms fire. We'll have a tough time getting through it. I'm less concerned about the armor than I am about that minigun. Those things can tear a man in half. You have three seconds before I open the hose. Step out here and surrender, and I promise I'll make this easy. Uh, something tells me you're going to kill us either way. Hey, F Topier. Um, just playing some Shadow Run here. Um, how about you drop your enormous gun and step over here instead? Who are you? Can we talk about this? I think I'm just going to say something tells me you're going to kill us either way. True. I can't deny it. But would it be easier if you didn't fight back? The orc shrugs and you hear the distinctive whir of his Vindicator's motor spinning up to speed. The barrels begin to blur as he wheels the weapon to face you. Um, great, we have five turns to face down this highly armored captain. Um, now is probably the time to uh, summon the spirit that I can grab from here. But okay, before that, let's... Start with what the drone can hit. Okay, the drone can hit this for... Totally flanked. So we'll take all these shots. Um, okay, just stick and get a good shot off on this one. I wish that had gone better. Um, let's see, this is a good time to use the burst fire. Yeah. Oof, man. So close here. So, a 51, a 75, let's see, the higher accuracy, well, let's try and take out one of these. Oh, jeez. Uh, Alright. Okay. I don't know what we're going to do about that minigun. Okay. Bring the drone around here and just... That should work. Now... This guy. Out in the open here. Does Glory have a grenade? Not sure. Does Dietrich have a grenade? No, but can bring out these air elementals, so that's that's kind of meaningful. Do some of the. Uh, let's see. I think the right thing to do is be to add or just add haste to somebody. Um, could take out that or heal up that wound too. That kind of makes some sense. Um, well, since it heals the last wound, let's wait until the last wound is like a huge thing, and let's go ahead and give haste to get through more things. Uh, this is probably a good time to reload. Get out of here. Oh no, a drone came through. I wish it feels like it would only make sense to be able to like take control of drones. But okay, anyway, let's head the game here. Okay, let's see about summoning the spirit since like things are taking that shape. A wind dancer. Okay, a blast of wind. Um, some kind of passive. Okay, anyway. Blast of lightning. Uh, takes out one AP. How many? Okay, this is one action point. 50% chance to hit. You gotta take the shot. Alright. Um, 
before I take a hit here. Anyway. Let's go going. Line of sight blocked. Okay, let's take this position. Hey. Hot shots and then uh, reload. Ugh, I feel so dangerous. Alright, um, this thing, let's give it 2 AP. Um, we'll... I want to do the AP damage here because it'd be useful if you couldn't act. Oh, I guess uh, it's one per turn, so. Do I need to get closer? What is the like the hang up here? Um, we'll do the most. Just trying to keep them occupied. Dietrich should probably move. Yep. Stick can maybe get a better position here. The drone. Can the drone take a shot from here? Yeah, pretty good shot. 50. Four damage out of a minigun is not bad at all. <laughs> take that all day. Alright. Let's put damage on him. That doesn't cost Dietrich any AP, so let's go ahead and give aim to Glory. No, oh, can't. Because of line of sight. Next best thing, I guess. Alright. Take the shot. And. Alright, let's try and. What is happening? The door unlocks with a loud click. Your escape route is clear. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, so Glory can make it in two. Yeah, go for it. Oh, well, that's not it. Um, over there than out in the open. Used up a lot. Have this drone keep on. Did it escape? It escaped. Oh, oh, it's just out there. Hey, alright. Turn off control mode. No, we'll just go follow. I like the animation a lot. Um, just put some damage on him. Right, we should do the adrenal pump. Get more AP. Let's go and cut him up. Yeah. And this is our exit, so. Might have Glory kind of cover us a little bit here. Yeah, they're just streaming through. Let's 
spirit is still helping out, which I appreciate. Ooh, brutal. All right. Um, let's see if we can get Dietrich to the exit, and if it's one by one. Okay, we're exiting one by one. So as far as I can get. Glory can get how far? All the way. Let's go this far first. We'll end. All right. Um. Okay. I can reach the exit. All right, Glory can reach the exit. Oof. Made it out. Hag rises from a corpse-strewn perch at your approach. <laughs> um, from the look on her face, it's obvious that she's already sized up the situation. I knew this was going to happen. I fucking knew it. The run was a trap. We can talk about this later. For now, we need to bug out. Monica didn't make it. We barely got out ourselves. Mm. Still feel like we can talk about this later. For now, we need to bug out. Tell me something I don't know. Iger slaps the side of the van. Pile in people and stick... When we get back to the Croix Bazaar, we're going to have a little talk. Let's talk. Cool, cool. All right. Spend your karma wisely. A jack of all trades is a master of none. The Croix Bazaar. Croisberg, home to nearly half a million people and, until very recently, Monica Schaefer. Once a melting pot of cultural diversity, it's now a chaotic mess of wealth and poverty, crime and commerce, anarchy and control. It's also... Home to your own little slice of Berlin, a neighborhood that locals call the Kreuz Bazaar, a safe port in the eye of the storm. The ride back to Kreuz Bazaar is quiet. No one is in a talking mood. As the van veers past potholes and garbage piles, the glare of streetlights and neon signs plays across your window, painting the world in a kaleidoscope of garish colors. Soon the van rounds a corner and skids to a halt in a narrow, crumbling alley. This is as far as Berlin's chaotic streets will take you. Your team wordlessly debarks the vehicle and climbs down into a disused section of the U-Bahn tunnel system. A well-kept secret, providing your team safe passage into the Kreuz Bazaar. Your safe house waits on the other side. Cool. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to um, uh, spend the session. Let's get inside. Um, and we'll get back to this um, another time. So, uh, thanks for joining. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed this particular cyberpunk jaunt. Um, I know I did, and we'll see you next time.